Yeah, I mean, IP, it's happened interestingly here in Australia. For example, most of my work being in Canberra, I work mostly with government. Um, the government's made, a made two really interesting decisions in the last 12 months. Um, one, that uh, information that the, that, that's produced for, for government organisations about their projects, that's not private information because if it's information about you and me, obviously it's very private. But information that's produced, maybe map information or health information that doesn't have people's information, must be made um, open license. Mm -hmm. So maybe Creative Commons. Um, and the other, the other really important thing is that um, we need to release it um, before it's asked for. So not only do you make it Creative Commons, but you make it available automatically to the public. And that's, a, that's changed the way intellectual property, particularly in government, is being looked at. Mm. Um, it's, it's very different because in, you know, in Australia it used to be government had a special type of copyright yeah. and, uh, and it was very difficult to get, to get access to the information that, that government produced um, in, a, in, a, in a useful way. Uh, you might get it in a report or whatever, but it wasn't – wasn't something that you and I could take, say, like XML and reuse and and combine with other data to make useful. Um, now that's that's very much changed. Uh, there's a long way to go. Uh, mm. Not all the information is yet available, but more and more government agencies here in Australia are using Creative Commons and making huge amounts of information uh, very easily available uh, and and listening to the public about how they should how they should you know, produce the data so the public can use it. For private companies, that's a much harder, it's a much harder question because they have to make money with the information that they and the knowledge that they produce. So yeah. the question is how do you resolve things like intellectual property laws and patents and so that you know, if you're an inventor in an organization, you can create something that's, that's going to make your organization money but it's also going to create good for the public. It's a very hard balance, um, and again, I have no answer. <laughs> no, but I don't yeah. think anyone does.